Welcome to TrumpRepublican.News. This is Jack Eason speaking. Well, you've been waiting for it, folks, and it's starting to happen. They're moving forward on prosecutions of all kinds of people. Last week it was Uranium One that started to be unveiled. And now listen to this. Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen has confirmed Tuesday that her department has asked for federal prosecutors, that's right folks, federal prosecutors to see if they can lodge criminal charges against sanctuary cities. Federal prosecutors to see if they can lodge criminal charges against sanctuary cities that refuse to cooperate with federal deportation efforts. The Department of Justice is reviewing what avenues may be available, Ms. Nielsen told the Senate Judiciary Committee. This is being reported by the Washington Times. Her confirmation came after California's new sanctuary law went into effect January 1, severely restricting cooperation the state or any of its localities would offer to federal prosecutors and law enforcement. Well, this is important because I've been waiting to hear for some time, as many, many of you have. That's why we have President Donald Trump in office. He is a no-nonsense kind of guy, and he is going to take charge. He is very used to wiping things out that are bad, and he is going for it, folks. He is putting together a team to go after these wrongdoers that are ignoring federal law. This sanctuary cities thing, that means, let me give you an example, Los Angeles Mayor, silver bracelets are coming your way if you don't start cooperating. City Council, Los Angeles, San Francisco, and many other places around this country, including New York City, that have claimed that they are sanctuary cities. Handcuffs and silver bracelets are coming your way when a prosecutor gets in line to do this. Have you violated the law? Mr. Mayor, Mr. City Council person, whoever you may be, have you violated the law? You better look deep inside because and look in the mirror because that's who they're going to be prosecuting individually, not just the city itself, but you as an individual. So I'm very encouraged by this new development. U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, uh, the director there, Tom Homan, he says that the policies of sanctuary cities put its officers and local communities at more risk than they have to arrest illegal uh, immigrants out of the out in the community. This is a it's a wild times we're living in, folks. Remember what happened up in San Francisco when that young lady was shot by an illegal immigrant who had come here five times illegally, had been in prison, and uh, oh, he found the gun. That's why he threw it in the ocean. Yeah, after he shot her, that's why he did it. Well, don't you think sanctuary cities enough is enough? Do you really want to destroy the everyday lives of people that are just going about their business, paying their taxes, living their lives? Well, Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen and the DOJ, go get them. Well, all fellow Trump Republicans, until we meet again, as President Trump likes to say, keep moving forward. Never, ever give up. God bless.